Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for stopping by. We are late on this one. It is the 27th of November. We're doing this. It came in very late. Usually I get it around the 16th, 17th, maybe the 18th of each month. I had people to do it with. But now they're gone. As you can see, I'm going back solo. So Universal Yums, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because we're getting close to the holidays. Anyways, we're going to do a review. So 14 things to taste. Should be interesting. It looks better than the last box. Well, for starters, there's a lot of potato chips and I like potato chips. It's probably going to be my number one. So we guessed it right. We are going to Spain. So we thought either Spain or Mexico. So we're going to Spain. So 14 different things. We got chocolates, we got cookies, we got weird stuff, and uh, we got potato chips. And eggs, apparently. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. A bit of a cold might affect my taste buds, but we shall see. So I got my voting sheet here. I'll keep it over here. And for those of you that, that's never seen these before, you actually vote and you put it on the website for Universal Yums. This is a Yum Yum box. It's the medium-sized box. Canadian pricing about $40. So it's not that bad. You get to try stuff from around the world. This one is all from Spain. I got the trusty little book here that tells me what they are. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but at least I'll get an idea of how to read the name of the product because it is in from Spain, right? It's Spanish. And uh, a brief description of what the product is. So let's start with the first one. I won't be using the plate. I don't know why I brought the plate. So the first I will try to flash each time I say I do it, but I never do. I will flash a picture of every product as I mention them. So flash number one, bam. It is called, I'm sorry for the pronunciation, Acho Pataticas Fritas Sor Sabor Uevo Frito. Huh? That easy. It's fried egg and sea salt potato chips. Should be interesting. So here's the bag. I like the bag black it doesn't smell like fried eggs so let's check this out looks like a regular potato chips I don't know where the eggs are in here oh there it is right there egg whites I ate a lot of egg whites <laughs> oh my god this isn't that good <laughs> very crunchy country crunchy slightly salted but the egg white taste is overwhelming. As you are getting your air out of your nose as you're chewing, you really feel the egg white. It's not just the eggs, it's actually, I'm sure it's nothing but egg whites. Potato, sunflower oil, artificial fried egg flavoring. Artificial fried egg flavoring. So it's fake. Is it good? No. Unless you really, really dig egg whites. Would I buy it again? No. Good thing they put in a little salt. It gives you a, I want a little bit more, but then you get that overwhelming uh, egg white taste. And yeah, it's not for me. This is water. I gotta rinse out because we're gonna go from chips to chocolate to candy to something I don't know to a box of truffle to something very weird. So, is it good? No, I went that through that anyway. So, I'll cast my vote now. I'll just put a small reminder that it is very weird. It's not the worst. I'm not saying it's disgusting, but it would be in the weird category. So that's where I'm gonna put my dot and we'll see as we go along if it gets uh, voted out by something more disgusting. Next one on the list, this one over here. I'll flash it now, pow! Uh, it's called Manticado Rileno di Naraja. It's shortbread with orange marmalade filling. Contains meat? It contains meat? Weird. <laughs> Let's give that a shot. Uh, that's weird. That is very weird looking. It looks like a small pastry. Powdered dough. It looks like dough. If I crack it open, it's very dry. 
Very sweet. Oh, Christ. <laughs> well, there was a filling in there. I think I took, took it all in. It crumbled in my hands. It's, only, it's actually got a very nice taste to it. But the meat? I don't see where the meat comes from. Anyways, it's not bad. It's dry and sweet. So, would I eat this again? Yeah, I'd have another one. It's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's put this aside. Okay. This one looks weird. Take a look at this. I mean, like, the brainstorming on this must have been, it must have been high or something. It looks weird. Anyways, back to me. It's a uh, Kangitos, dark chocolate covered peanuts. Oh yeah, you see it on the picture anyway, there was a peanut there. It's just that little guy, I like, look at him again. That guy right there, I just don't know, all right? So okay, back to me, and let's open this thing up, and it's the original one, good. And that means that they modified it, it tanked, and they created a new one. Well, they came back to the original recipe, just from like the Coca-Cola thing, you know? Looks like a big glow set. Glossette or a big, uh, yeah, glossette. Yeah. Very peanutty because there is a peanut in there. Dark chocolate. I eat pretty much everything, but dark chocolate is not my thing. It tastes, mm, yeah. After two, you said, okay, yeah, let's try something else. <laughs> yeah. Too much dark chocolate for my liking. The peanut helps it a lot, but there's too much dark chocolate for my liking. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it as is for now. There's no, because the only voting is best, second best, worst, and weirdest. It's not the weirdest, it's not, so far it's not the worst. Which one would I go worse? The uh, chocolate guy or the egg? The egg would be the worst one so far, out of everything I've tasted so far. Let's try the other one. Oh, oh yeah, this is one I don't know. It, you can't see it, right? You can't see it's chips. Just by feeling it, it feels like a Twix, a bag of Twix. There are two in this. It is called Aspil Aspitos. Oh my God. Ham flavored corn puff snack. Ham, we went from meat to ham. Where, how, okay, let's, <laughs> ham. Oh man, sorry for the sniffling. I am I am a bit sick. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like a big puff, like a corn Cheetos. We did the peanut one not too long ago. You all know Cheetos if you're from Canada. It's it's Cheetos, but it's puffed. So uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, it smells like, <laughs> it smells like ham. Do I like it? Gotta take it to the second bite. Nope. <laughs> this is going on the disgusting side. It sticks to your teeth. The hand thing. What the hell were they thinking about? So, so far I'll put a dot on worst. Oh my God. Or my, all on my, but all the goddamn gods out there. It's disgusting. That, that hand thing. Let's see if it's a original or new or. Oh my God, that was terrible. Yeah, that, no, no. Sorry, Spain, but that thing, that's not a winner. Okay, next. I think it's a cookie. Oh, this thing is, listen to that. It is heavy and it's very small. Cortadillo Rileno di Crema. Okay, soft cake with cream filling. I should like it. Soft cakes are good. Cream filling is good. It's very oily. It's very sticky, and it's very, it's 
square. You must have had a half a moon, right? Those half moons with the cream filling. Same thing, but heavier. Like the dough or whatever that's around it, the little cake is very hefty. It's heavy, but it's good. All right, take a bite. Yeah, I like that. The taste is good. The cream filling is very good. It's not too sweet. It's just that the dough itself, the pastry is very, very Heavy. It's a soft cake. It's not a pastry, it's a cake. Artisan potato chips, Mediterranean herb. Potato chips with assorted herbs, garlic, and onion. This should be good. Garlic, onion, you cannot go wrong. Is it the same company that made the egg chips? Acho! No, it's not. It's a different company. As we've noticed in the past boxes, the same potato chips came from the same companies. Yep, I like the smell. Delicious. Probably the best so far. A little dark on best. Yep. Yeah. I love chips. Potato chips, corn chips, any kind of chips, except that thing, the ham thing, no. But this is good. Okay, they look like where there's originals, right? It's called, oh, got rid of that. Like a Sisto Gold, candy coated white chocolate and caramel pieces. So caramel with white chocolate. Okay, there you go. It looks like a Smarties. For the Americans, an M&M. &M. And it's written, GO on it. Geo, go. What color is that inside? Must be white. Yep, it's white inside. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, they're not bad. It's like a new flavored Smarties or M&M. Yep, these are good. Yep, I like them. They're not the best Smarties. It's like the, the Smarties that was rejected from the box. They said no. Everybody was like, yay, and they said no to him. Oh yeah, that being said, uh, the computer just went off. I want to make sure I'm recording because I had a sound problem last time. Mm, yep, still recording. Oh, now 15 minutes in, I'm going to be editing this one. This one over here. This one looks like a trail mix. Aspil Pontasos mix. Chili barbecue flavored corn and rice snack. The shapes are weird. There's corn, there are little balls like Reese's, uh, the, the cereal. Remember what I mean? <laughs> that was funny. And stars and stuff. Let's try that. Usually a mix, you gotta mix it up. And did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, crunchy. The barbecue aftertaste isn't incredibly good. It's a fake smoke barbecue flavor. We could say it's okay. It's like the um. The bags of uh, corn mix, but well, that's stupid. The, uh, I can't remember the name. The snacks, it's corn and it's flavored. There is some in it. I'll show you a picture of what I mean like now. Yeah, that, it tastes like that, but barbecue flavored and different textures. So is it a winner? No. Is it a loser? No, it says so, so taste. Next one, spicy mangoes. I don't do spicy for starters, so this should be interesting. Uh, they don't look like mangoes. They look like squished. Um, you know those little birds there? I'll you flash you a picture right now. These, well, imagine these smaller, orange, and squished like this. You take and you squish it. 
take it. Check this out. Oh, whoa. The smell. Whoa, it smells powerful. Oh, oh one, two, three, go. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. There we go. We found our oh, their taste. Very fake, synthetic mango, and the texture is like rubber. I'm chewing it, but it's just moving around in my mouth. It's not going anywhere. It's not melting, except for the spicy part. It just kicked in. Whoa, my tongue is on fire. Fuck this shit. Worse. Ah, oh, I don't do spicy food for starters, and now this is hot. Oh, oh, that was terrible. Oh, terrible. Okay, worse, worse, worse. Big X right there. Oh, I can't swallow it. It just, it's moving around as I'm chewing. It's disgusting. Next, <laughs> did I say the name? Yeah, I did. Next is sort of a cookie thing. Carmen Lupienez Tortas de Achieti. I'm sorry. Uh, olive oil cookies with almond and spices. Gingerbread cookie. Mm. Last box, I had a gingerbread cookie in it. This one is pretty much the same, same thing. Gingerbread. What's the description again? Olive oil cookies, can't taste that. Almond, yeah, spices. The spices remind me of the gingerbread cookies. Four to go, four, so three, four. Truffles, I'm not a truffles maniac. My wife likes these though, she likes these. Oh, so here we go. Lucasa Trufas. Cacao Dusted Chocolate Truffle. Should taste just like any truffle I don't like. I'm not a chocolate maniac for stars. Potato chips, yes. Oh, yes. Truffles. Yeah. Classic box, classic bag of truffles. Oh, excuse me. Classic look of truffles. Classic taste of truffles. It's a good beer. Well, if you're, if you're into truffle, yeah, you're liking it. I'm not. Got myself some water. The magic of editing. So here we go with the next one, the green bag. It is, whew, the names, what's with the names, Spain? Come on. El Borriago Galletos Leninas Con Crema Sabo Lemon. So lemon in there, I guess. Uh, biscuit with lemon cream filling, there you go. But the name has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. Uh, uh, six, no, seven, seven words. El Gorayaga Galatas Rilanas Con Crema Sabor Limon. Oh, was not what I expected. It looks like that. And here we go. Lemon, lemon, think lemon. It's more like lemon meringue. Not bad. The cookie is sweet, not too sweet. This with coffee would be amazing. So I found my best, my worst, my weirdest. I haven't found my second best yet. I'll have to take a look. Next one, again with the names this long. Aspil Palomita Sabor Ketchup y Mostaza. Let me guess, ketchup. Ketchup and mustard flavored baked corn snacks. I like corn snacks. Ketchup and mustard. If anyone had meat, stack it up, make a goddamn burger. Okay, these the trick is you gotta eat a lot to taste it. Hmm. I 
Yeah. Does it taste like ketchup and mustard, though? That is the question. I guess it does. It tastes like a burger. Ketchup and mustard, if you put ketchup and mustard in your burgers. I like this. This is pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see what the longest name in the world. No? That's it? What the? Hey, that's weird. I, I went through everything step by step. Oh, yeah, right. I had two of those. The little um, heavy pastry there with the cream filling that was like a half moon. We had two of them in the bags. So there's my votes. So for my weirdest, just because I didn't put it as my most disgusting because it's potato chips, weirdest, I would have to say the egg flavored chips. For my worst, by far, the ham flavored puff. Uh, for my second best, which was this one, this was delicious, well, delicious, was very, very, very good. The ketchup mustard, um, sort of like puff uh, corn chips. And of course, I knew it as soon as I opened the box. It was the first thing on the top of the box. The uh, chips, the um, onion and, uh, what was it? Onion and something chips there. These were very good. So that is my review for the Yum Yum box for the month of November that came in like a week and a half late. But can you really blame them? We're going into December. For those people not in Canada or the USA or where you celebrate Christmas, December is a big month. November is a big month for shipping stuff. So yeah, I'll take the uh, the hit for reviewing this uh, very late. So yeah, winner by far, this one over here. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed this box. What did you think? Uh, she's not there. What did you think? Uh, he left to work again. So yeah, I was alone because the box came in late. Thanks a lot. So P-E-L-L-557. -L I'm thinking about renaming my channel to something else. We'll see. Uh, if you have any ideas, put them down there. Right down there. <clears throat> if you have ideas, a lot of people look at my videos, send me messages privately. Not a lot of people comment. That's fine. But if you do have ideas, besides my two brothers, because they're going to propose a bunch of stupid stuff I know, just let me know downstairs. And if you want, since you stopped by, hit the like button if you want, and leave a comment, send me a message. And uh, if you have any ideas on what I can do, because I'm only doing a video a month nowadays, I like to do videos. They're fun to do. So let me know, and uh, don't forget my brother's channel, he did the draw, the winner got the prize. There is another draw coming up for my brother's channel. Once he hits 100 subscribers, he's giving out $100,000. Cool, good luck, no, no. <laughs> he's just giving out something else. So 100 subscribers, he's at 83 right now, so he's getting there. And for myself, thank you for all my uh, subscribers. I really appreciate it. As long as I get more than him, I'm very happy. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway too. Yeah, I'll be doing a giveaway too. Not saying any more for now. It'll be on the next video, the one uh, during Christmas time. So, signing off for today. Thank you for stopping by and see you on the next video. You're not saying goodbye? What about you? Oh, I'm alone.